I've known about God's Love We Deliver for a very, very long time because unfortunately, friends of mine got AIDS very early in the pandemic. People started to talk about the ability to get food from God's Love and how life-saving it was. I joined 2006 as president and CEO. It was time for the next generation of planning and expansion and growth, there was a realization that policy work was critical to our long-term survival. And I was very excited by that mission. The other thing that really drew me is food and meals and nourishment. And I come from a family where the currency was food and nourishment. My home was the gathering place for family and friends. Food was always part of the experience. Personally, I love to cook, to bake. The marriage of working someplace that is focused on food and nourishment and health, both personally and professionally, was really quite special for me. I'm really proud of everything we've accomplished together over these last 16 years. One of my sources of huge pride is how we have worked with our colleagues across the country to create a food as medicine movement. I'm so proud of the Michael Kors building that we are sitting in right now. It's just taken God's love to a whole nother level in terms of our ability to serve more people. I'm really proud of how our organization managed through COVID. From the day the city shut down, we stayed open and the entire God's Love community rose to the occasion. The 16 years that I've been here as CEO have gone by in an eye blink. That's because of the spirit of God's love. You come in the door and you feel welcomed and embraced. We have come a long way. There's more work to be done. God's love is going to continue to thrive. I'm so excited that David Ludwigson will be our next president and CEO. I trust David so much, and I know that he's gonna be the right person for this time. And David and the whole staff, including me, because I'm not leaving, I'm going to continue to work as a special advisor. We're all going to continue to grow our organization, serve more people, continue to support and promote the message that food is medicine and food is love. To our donors, thank you for your extreme generosity and deep commitment to the services that we provide. To our volunteers, I thank you for always bringing your big hearts, your mighty hands, and for donating your most valuable time. To our staff, I think you're the best, the most terrific staff who are always focused on our clients and on giving them the most expert service possible. To our clients, it has been an honor to lead this organization on your behalf, and I thank you because providing services to you has been truly precious. Feeding people is deeply personal to me and has been since my grandmother taught me how to bake with her and my mom made that first batch of homemade chicken soup when I was sick. It is my hope that the love and care that I felt then and that I bring to my own table now is what our clients feel every time we knock on their door, our meals in hand, bringing them care and lots of love. As I make this transition, I want to just say one final thank you to everyone for making this job the best job I've ever had, for the greatest community I've ever worked with. I will miss everybody seeing you all every day, but I know I will still see you and our paths will continue to cross. And I really look forward to that.